the easiest version is the second one. My name is Orelina and I teach people how to sing contemporary music from a holistic and functional approach, which means everyone can learn to sing naturally without sacrificing the fun stuff, which is what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, I invite you to go to my description because there you're going to find my free singing secrets to expand your vocal range. So you can go to the description now and get it from there. Also, I just started my membership, which is full of vocal training designed to bring your system to singing mode, full of lessons that you can do at your own time. During September, I am offering it as a super special price. If you get my membership during September, then you're going to keep the discount for as long as you're a member. Now, let's talk about today's topic. Today, I actually want to work with a song. And the reason why I chose this song is because a lot of singers want to learn to belt and they break their voices because they try to do it in a, maybe in a range that is not useful or in a song that is already very challenging. So remember that the formula is comfort zone plus one. If you go from comfort zone to impossible, the system really stresses and you go more slowly <laughs> than if you did something more gradually. So today I want to work with the song Someone Like You by Adele. This is a song that is uh, included in grade four in a rock school syllabus. It's a syllabus that I teach especially to kids and teenagers. It's a great syllabus because it prepares you from zero all through to professional level. So I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to become a really skilled contemporary singer. Why is this a great song for beginners to learn belting? Well, first of all, I should do a little clarification there. For beginner belters, not for beginner singers, because when you are just starting at singing, belting cannot be your priority. Allow me to explain. At the beginning of your singing training, the focus has to be about discovering your different vocal registers, more specifically your chest voice and your head voice. Once you discover them, then you start mixing them. And when you get that mix, then you can start belting. So if you know a little bit about how the voice works, and if you don't, then you, you should go learn that before you try belting. But you have your chest voice and then you have your head voice. And in the middle, there is a bridge that connects them both of them and this is something important that many people don't know and is that there is no black and white in these registers ideally or at least not what we're looking for in vocal technique what you're looking for is to gradually transition from a predominance of chest voice to a predominance of head voice predominance so it's not chest 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 head but you gradually transition to your head voice now belting means that you are still having a predominance of chest voice past that bridge. This is a very nice effect. It gives you a very powerful voice and nice to hear, but it has to be done the right way for you not to suffer, first of all, not to tire your voice, and for you to be able to keep on singing without making your voice weaker and weaker every time. There are some things you have to have in mind. If you have been singing for a while and you have your chest voice developed, and you also have explored your head voice and maybe you started mixing, then you can start belting. And this is a great song to do this because the belting part, which happens like right at the beginning of the chorus, is right at that bridge. It is a really good song to, in a safe way, start opening that belting register in a range that is still safe for your voice. But that is not the only reason why I like my students that like to sing pop to learn this song when they are ready to move on from that beginner phase to a more of an intermediate phase where you can start really having fun with your voice. I think it is a really, really good song to gradually prepare you for that chorus in which you belt. Because first of all, the verse is all done in chest voice. It has long notes and it also has a lot of space for you to breathe. That allows you to keep yourself relaxed, not strain and not to get super anxious about those high notes. Because it's all in chest voice, it allows you to prepare your vocal muscle gradually for that belting as well. Also, the reason why this is not a song for complete beginners is because if you take a look at the verse, the range is quite low. It actually goes up to an E3, which is really not easy for sopranos, at least. It's not a song that you really can 
uh, change keys. If you wanted to do it and you are a beginner, what I would recommend that is that instead of maybe lowering the key, is that you modify the melody instead. And don't worry about belting when you are a beginner, it's more about of discovering chest and head and doing the best you can within those resources. Well, it goes from the pre-chorus to the chorus. That is a little bit tricky. It goes from a C sharp to an A. It is a big jump when it does, it is an over. And then it goes all the way to the chorus. Never mind. So that is a big jump. And if you sing it like me, like I did right now, the dynamic change is also quite a bit and it can make that belting much harder if you are just starting with belting. Remember, this is belting for beginners. As you learn more, then you want to do more complex stuff as well. So one of the ways you can fix that is by putting a little bit more energy into those low notes. Because that bridge is, is quite low, it's actually hard to put energy into it, especially if you are a soprano like me, those low notes are, don't come really easy. So remember the basic techniques uh, that I t always talk about in my videos, syncing your breathing energy with the energy that you want your voice to have and also your body tone. So maybe instead of it is an over, you can sing it is an over. Use all your resources, use your breathing or your body tone, the space in the mouth, and then that jump is going to be a little bit easier. I'm gonna sing it two times now, the first one with that low energy that I see a lot of beginners singing through the whole verse like that. And then the other one where I'm gonna increase the energy of that second part of the bridge. And that you be reminded that for me, it is an over. Never mind, I'll find. Second. It is an over. Never mind, I'll find. Maybe you like the first version better, but the easiest version is the second one. Now with that one, yes, I used my articulation, my breathing, my body tone to create a pre-bridge that is a little bit more energetic, even though it's low. And then the belting kind of came even naturally, I will say. This is also important, not only because it helps you prepare the chorus, but also because it is a long bridge and it is also a verse in which everything is low. So if you sing everything with the same low energy just because it's low it's gonna be a little bit tedious and there are no dynamics in the expression if you bring this to speaking what you will do when you are speaking when you are belting you will be speaking uh, in a very energetic manner you wouldn't be doing never mind i'll find someone like you you will do it in a more passionate way right when you are speaking and when you are describing a, a story or you're telling a story or you're having a conversation with someone expressing your feelings, your voice is not like this dynamic. It moves because your emotions move all the time and with that your voice. So your songs have to be a reflection of that. Of course, music is art, but if you sing the song and you just think about singing the right notes, oh, then we need to adjust something that is not what singing is about. It's always really about doing the best you can with the resource you already have, with the skills you already have. But you also, every time you sing a song, whatever resources you have, you always go through these three stages. Learning a song, learning the vocal technique, and resolving the expression of the song. If you want to learn more about what being a functional singer means, go and take a look at my membership because all these topics are covered much more in detail there. Now, talking about the chorus. You have prepared your voice through the bridge, through you have made it more energetic through those low notes. Not only your voice is prepared, but also now your system is prepared. Now, very important to have in mind, belting, as I said before, means that you are singing with a predominance of chest in your bridge or after that. That is what it means. It doesn't mean that you are doing technically correct. If you do it in a way that it doesn't help your voice and that it harms your voice, it is also called belting. But we, of course, this is a channel of functional singing, so we want to do it with the best technique we can, which is not the most lazy one, but it is the one that brings you best results. And that makes you keep on being able to sing forever. As I say, you have an A there, which is right on the bridge. Not only that, but you also have a consonant, the consonant N. That actually will help you get to that first note. It goes from that N right to the vowel never. So you actually need to use that N sound to give you some impulse. It's a really good consonant to give you impulse for the vowel right after that to be done in belting. It is much easier to sing this song with that 
consonant, the N, rather than if you were singing just a vowel there, it would be much harder. The N is quite a nice, gentle uh, consonant that can really give your voice strength. Probably you don't think how to do Ns, but the way you want to, <laughs> to sing this N for singing is you, of course, push the, the tip of your tongue here, like right above the teeth, like the back of the teeth, so it's above there, the hard palate. You press and then you release while you open the mouth to the vowel. Never mind! And now notice that I stayed a little bit longer than you normally do in the end. So I didn't do never, but I stay there a little bit longer. Never! Well, I'm exaggerating it there, but if you stay a little bit longer, you are preparing the voice for that movement forward and it makes it much easier. I'll do it in two versions. First, with the short N, the one we use for speaking, and then with the longer one that I should show you. Never mind! Second, never mind! Well, the second one, at least it felt much better to me. That never mind, that pitch is the highest belting pitch that you have in the entire song. It is very doable. And if you follow all these tips that I mentioned previously, then your voice is going to be prepared to do that. The second part of the chorus, don't try it in belting, at least if you're a beginner. Uh, this is quite advanced belting to reach a note. And Adele doesn't do it in belting, she is doing that in head voice. When she says, don't forget me, she does that in head. It is much safer to do, but it is skill because it does require you to switch from belting to head. And that is actually something really good because as I said before, as a beginner, the focus uh, needs to be in identifying those two registers and being able to use them, develop them. So if you are an intermediate singer and you are approaching belting now, it, you should already have those skills. And of course, within these kind of songs, you are practicing those skills over and over again. Singing is accumulative and progressive and associative, like all disciplines. I'm going to leave the song there, but if you are interested in this kind of work, in learning how to sing contemporary music in a functional manner, which as you can see, it doesn't mean boring, it means that you can sing your favorite songs with ease and naturally. Subscribe right now so you're not going to miss out on my videos like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.